Hello everyone, welcome to The Travel Plan, a channel for amazing facts and information. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 places to visit in Bangkok. Watch this video till the end for a better understanding, and make sure to subscribe to The Travel Plan, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our future uploads. Bangkok is everything you'd expect from the capital of Thailand, it's noisy, crowded, colorful, exciting, infuriating, and smile-inducing. There are temples, ancient sites, and other attractions to be visited, as well as modern shopping malls that have a kitschy yet high-end ambience. Bangkok can be overwhelming, but it's also a fascinating city that represents Southeast Asia's tension between the developed and developing worlds. Discover the best things to do in this bustling city with our list of the top attractions in Bangkok. Number 10. Discover Khao San Road This is Bangkok's infamous backpacker district a neighborhood jam packed with guest houses, food vendors, clothing stalls, and travelers from every corner of the globe. You'll need to tap into your patience when hanging out here, because while it is colorful and exciting in its own way, the crowds and scents and blaring music can test even the calmest soul. All that said, Khao San Road is also a great place to pick up a few pairs of baggy fisherman pants, the perennial staple of every backpacker's wardrobe when trekking through Thailand. Number 9. Shop by boat at the Damdan Sajwik Floating Market. For an even more interesting market experience, you can arrange a tour to Damdan Sajwik, a famous floating market located in Ratburi. The popularity of floating markets once earned Bangkok the nickname Venice of the East. Keep in mind that floating markets are now highly touristic enterprises, so don't expect an exclusive morning of shopping by boat, but you will be able to buy fresh and delicious foods and interact with locals in an authentic way. Number 8. Stock up on authentic souvenirs at Chachu Chok Market. This sprawling semi-outdoor weekend market is the largest in the world and one of the top things to do when visiting Bangkok. Shoppers can find everything from jewelry and religious icons to pet supplies, paper lamps, and delicious street food here. Chachu Chok Market is home to over 15,000 stalls offering just about anything you can dream up even better. Any souvenir you might want is probably available here at a much cheaper price than anywhere else in Bangkok. Number 7. National Museum and Wang Na Palace History buffs will want to devote at least half a sightseeing day to the National Museum. Until the mid-1970s, this was Thailand's only museum, which explains why its collection is so big and diverse. Fortunately, just about every exhibit is labeled in Thai and English and guided tours are also offered in English, so you won't miss out on any of the country's fascinating ancient and contemporary history. King Rama I's Wang Na Palace located within the grounds of the museum, remains essentially as it was, and stands as a testament to Thai history. Number 6. Giant Swing In the center of the busy square in front of Wat Sut Hat stands one of Bangkok's most eye-catching sights, the 27-meter-high teak frame of the so-called Giant Swing. Built in the 1700s to be used as part of traditional Brahmin, Hinduist, ceremonies, the swing was later damaged by lightning and became just decorative. This used to be the focus of a religious ceremony held every year in December after the rice harvest. King Rama VII banned the contest in 1932, following a number of fatal accidents. Number 5. Wat Sut Hat Wat Sut Hat, adjacent to the Great Swing, is one of the oldest and most beautiful of Bangkok's Buddhist temples. Three kings had a hand in its construction, it was begun soon after the coronation of Rama I in 1782, continued by Rama II and completed ten years later by Rama III. Apart from its delightful architecture, the temple boasts some exceptionally interesting wall paintings. Wat Sut Hat is less popular than some of the other temple complexes in the city, so you'll enjoy a more peaceful and intimate experience here. Number 4. Take a River Cruise The Jao Priya River is Bangkok's heartline. Known as the River of Kings, this major waterway will allow you to discover some of the city's most stunning temples and monuments from a completely new angle. In the evening, you can jump on a dinner cruise to see the lit-up city skyline as you sail along the Grand Palace and water in and under the Rama A Bridge. During the day, take advantage of Bangkok's many ferries and express boats, which depart from Sathorn Pier and will stop right at the ports of major tourist attractions, including Wataroon and Ratchawangs. Number 3. Wataroon. Wataroon is something of a triumphant complex, dating back to the time of ancient battles between the former Siam and Burma. Having fallen to the Burmese, Ayutthaya was reduced to rubble and ashes, but General Taksin and the remaining survivors vowed to march until the sun rose again and to build a temple here. 
What Arun, the Temple of the Dawn, was that temple? It is where the new king later built his royal palace and a private chapel. If you climb to the top of the Prang just before sunset, you will be rewarded with an unforgettable view as the sun sinks over the Jiao Prian River. Number 2. What Fo? Located immediately south of the Grand Palace Precinct, Wat Pho makes an excellent addition to your palace tour, provided your feet are up for more walking. The temple was built by King Rama I and is the oldest in Bangkok. It has long been considered a place of healing, and was famous centuries ago for its pharmacy and as Thailand's first university both established by King Rama III. Today Wat Pho is best known for the Temple of the Reclining Buddha, where you will find a statue so big 45 meters long and 15 meters high. It cannot be viewed in its entirety but only appreciated in sections. The soles of the feet, inlaid with a myriad of precious stones, are particularly beautiful. Number 1. Admire the beauty of the Grand Palace. If you only visit one major historical tourist attraction in Bangkok, this should be the one. The royal compound lives up to its name, with spectacular structures that would put the most decadent modern monarchs to shame. Built in 1782. The Grand Palace was the royal residence for generations and is still used for important ceremonies and accommodating heads of state. Dress modestly when visiting the Grand Palace, which basically means covering your arms and legs and avoiding any sloppy attire. That was it for this video. What do you think about our video? Do you find it helpful? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, please remember to subscribe to the Travel Plan and turn on notifications so you don't miss many more videos like this. Talk to you all in our next video. Take care.